This is the place I call home. This is the place where I found freedom. This is the place where I found the peace of God. This is the place where my family got restored. This is the place where we found our joy. This is the place where I made friends for a lifetime. This is a place where we grow together. This is a place we all can find hope. This is the place for you. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Sunday Night Live service. We are so excited that you tuned in tonight to our service, and we have something very special in store for you tonight, so don't leave, don't go anywhere. You tuned in to the right channel. You have tuned in to Victory Outreach Whittier, and we are so excited to have you with us. We are going to be featuring a concert from Miles Minnick. We're going to take you back. We had a great time here in our church, and we're going to take the concert right to your house right now. But before we get started, we're going to worship the Lord. And we're going to open up tonight in a word of prayer. So right where right you're at, I want you to stand up and get excited. Make sure you start a watch party. Make sure you tell somebody to tune in right now. And we're going to believe God. He's going to move in a powerful way. The same way he moved back then, he's going to move tonight. So let's open up in a word of prayer. Father, we just come before you tonight. And we thank you, God, that we're able to gather, even during this time, God, that we're able to feel your presence regardless of where we're at. And we know that tonight you're going to minister, God. We know you have something very special for us, God. We pray over this service, and we know you're going to bless every single person that is tuned in tonight. God, we thank you in advance for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name we all say amen and amen. So if you haven't stood already, stand up right now. We're going to worship the Lord right now, right where you're at. Stand up. We're going to worship the Lord right now. How many of you guys are ready to praise tonight? Let me hear a shout of praise if you're ready to praise tonight. Oh, I can't hear you. Come on. You can be a little louder tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, God. Yes, Jesus. How do you just begin to clap your hands to the Lord tonight? Let's have 
Praise God. As we got to just add us some great praise and worship, we're going to go into another form of worship, which is our tithes and offerings. Now, I want to read a real familiar portion of scripture found in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path. As we know, all of the whole world is in a pandemic. And if there was ever a time for us to trust in God, it is now more than ever. As we, are, as we obey God and become generous, you will see the supernatural blessing and provision of God. So here tonight, I want us to give with the expectation that God will take care of you. I want us to pray here tonight. Father, we just want to say that we thank you for the privilege you have given us to get back unto you, to trust in you one more time. We ask that you will bless the giver here tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Failure is not final, and under does not mean over. Y'all just said he put miles on miles. Victory Outreach Whittier, go ahead and make some noise for Jesus. Go ahead and make some noise for Jesus. Are you excited to be here tonight? Are you excited to be in the house of God on Sunday night? If you want, go ahead and give him a praise real quick. Give God a praise. Give him a praise. Uh, yo, has God been good to anybody in this place? Has he been good to you? Has he kept you throughout 2019? I don't know about you, but I could have lost my mind last year, but God kept me. God has provided for me. God has blessed me. God has called me out of darkness to become somebody who proclaims his goodness to the nations. Can anybody attest to that? Has God done something good for your life? Yeah. It is such an honor to be here. The whole Victory Outreach, you guys are more than a ministry. You are a movement. You are a movement that is changing this world, and I can't wait to see what God has in store for this entire ministry. This first song I'm doing is called What I Look Like. Somebody say, What I Look Like. <laughs> and I wrote this song. <laughs> We're going to have some fun tonight. Can I get the gang up here? Can I get the third wave up here? Um, I'm sorry, this altar is too empty. I need somebody up here to party with me. Can I get some dancers up here? And before I move forward, I do want to say I am an honorary gang member. I'm an honorary gang member. I don't know what y'all thought this was. I mean, y'all see this? Y'all see this jacket? Like, I just had to rock. Like, it's only right. Thank you, Pastor Ryan. Somebody say, what I look like. I wrote this song as a tool to give our generation to when somebody tries to get you to go back to do what you used to do, look at them crazy like, Psh, what I look like. 
or, or after summer vacation and you get back to school and they try to get you in the back of the school and pass you a blunt, instead of taking the blunt, say, psh, what I look like. <laughs> or when your significant other try to get you to do something before marriage, be like, girl, boy, what I look like. Come on, somebody. All right, everybody in the building, everybody. I want everybody to go like this. Hey, what I look like. What's your angle? What you talking? They don't look right. Huh? Hey, y'all, what I look like. Why you with the other side? They don't look right. Huh? Hey, y'all, what I look like. What's your angle? What you talking? They don't look right. Huh? Hey, and what I look like. Why you with the other side? They don't look right. Drop that. Play that for me. Y'all ready to go crazy? V, yo, y'all ready to go crazy? I'm gonna need to see your energy tonight, alright? Can I see y'all party with me tonight? Hey, V, yo, y'all ready to go crazy? Jesus in this place. So I see, I see y'all already turned up. We already turned up in this place. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. All right. <laughs> so throughout this evening, I'm going to be giving bits and pieces of my testimony. Is that okay? I said, can I tell y'all what God did for me? Is that okay? <laughs> when I was a teenager... I was not the same person that I am today. Let's just keep it real. Can anybody attest to that? Like, have you changed? Because me, when I was 16 years old, I was still doing music, but I was doing it for the world. I was drinking, smoking. Uh, come on now, we all got a pass, right? <laughs> and I wanted nothing to do with God. Hear me. I wanted nothing to do with God. So one day... Or one evening, rather. Wednesday evening, I'm with two of my best friends who will re remain nameless. I'm not going to say their names. <laughs> we, was, uh, we was at my friend's house. We were smoking weed. I know, right? Like, oh, my God, you're, you used to smoke weed. Yeah, we, you know, I've been delivered. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We were smoking. And then one of my friends was like, hey, Miles, bro, we should go to church. I'm like, go to church. They was like, yeah, bro. I'm like, right now they said, yeah, it'd be lit on Wednesday nights. I'm like, boy, we smell like I don't know who's weed right now. But me being the main one who, down, who did not want to go into the church, they drug me in, but I did not want to leave. I didn't. I was the main one in the service, clapping my hands to the sermon, listening to the songs, lifting my hands to the worship. And then I, I came in with one high, but I left with another high that has never run dry, that has never left my life. The, the, <laughs> the preacher gave an altar call, and without me even knowing what an altar call was, I came to the front and I lifted my hands. Me being 16 years, 16 years old, young, dumb, stupid, I heard the voice of God. I heard the voice of God in my spirit. He said, son, I'm about to touch you. And 10 seconds later, the pastor laid hands on me, and I fell out in his presence. And since then, I've never been the same. Can we give God a hand praise for that? 
And in this next song, in this next song I'm talking about that, it's called Red Handed. Somebody say Red Handed. I'm using Red Handed as a metaphor because when Jesus was on the cross, the blood that he shed made his hands red. So we're going to go ahead and party for Jesus and celebrate his goodness. But on this next song, I'm going to give this shirt to whoever goes the craziest on this next song. So that means I'm going to need to see your dance moves, whatever y'all was doing like 2.5 minutes ago. I'm going to need to see all that because this, this shirt right here, yeah. All right, go ahead and drop that from, wait, before you play it, before you play it, it go like this. Red handed, red handed, red handed, red handed. For all of my children, I'm red handed, red handed. For heroes and villains, I'm red handed, red handed. Yep, Christ was red handed. Yep, Jesus was red handed. Ooh, 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 red handed. Jesus and Jesus was red handed. Drop that, drop that, drop that. Oh, hey, 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 hey
please. And then God being God, God being so good, he let me and all my friends go except for the, you know, person who, who had the gun in his pants pray for him. But he, he's on the right track now. And after that particular incident, I said, okay, I need to change my circle and get around God's people and get around people who are on the same trajectory as me. Has anybody had to do that in their life before? Get around the right kind of people to get where you need to go. So this next song is called Lawless. Somebody say Lawless. It goes like this, I stay dipped in the holy water. If you're talking sin, then I depart you. Uh, and I can never be too cautious, cautious. Gotta watch out for the one and lawless say. I stay dipped in the holy water. If you're talking sin, then I depart you. Uh, and I can never be too cautious, cautious. Gotta watch out for the one and lawless, lawless say, lawless. Say, lawless. Gotta watch out for the one and lawless, lawless and say, lawless. Say, lawless. Gotta watch that photo of Alden Law. Let's drop that. All right. Now, turn it up for me. Turn it up. I still got this shirt. Who want this shirt? Y'all gotta go down with me. Hey, 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 say. Uh, I stay dipped in the holy water. If you talking sin, then I depart you. Yeah. And I can never be too cautious. Yeah. I gotta watch that photo of Alden Law. I stay dipped in the holy water. If you talking sin, then I depart you. Y'all ain't taking no more time from me Toasted on the block Nah, man, we ain't buddies Hey, you ain't grabbing me back Hit up down next for the jab You know Everybody I saw me showing love But no shake it up, hands up, nah. I stay dipped in the holy water If you talking sin, then I keep watching yeah. And I can never be too cautious Gotta watch out for the water Make some noise for Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a question. How many of you love your church? No, okay, let me ask it again. How many of you really love your church? You thank God for your church? Without the house of God, I would not be who or where I am today and I believe the same thing for you. If God has used VO to change your life, go ahead and give God a praise right there where you are. Now, this is going to be a quick choir, choir lesson real quick. I want y'all to repeat after me. Say, ooh, na, 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 na. I love my church. Ooh, na, 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 na. I love my church. Say, ooh, na. Say, I love my church, yeah. All right, go ahead and drop that. On this one, I'm going to need y'all full energy. Let's get it. Hey, say, I love my church. Say, say, yeah, yeah. All right, everybody quit. I be lifting up praise eyes. I be making God famous. All my people lifting way, way up now. I'm about to turn way, way up. Welcome to the moment of a movement. Easy 
easier to put your teeth for you to get into it. Cruising, moving, never losing. Everybody watching, they'll be rocking to the music. Yeah. I be lifting up praise. I'll be making God famous. All my people lifting way, way up now. I'm about to turn way, way up now. I love my church, I love my church. Yeah. I love my church, I love my church. Yeah. I love my church, I love my church. Hey. I love my church, say ooh na. Hey, make some noise for Jesus, man. So you guys remember that church I came into when I was high and God changed my life. After that particular night, I never missed a Wednesday night. And God did such a work in my life that he raised me up to become the youth pastor of that very same church that I came into that Wednesday night. When I was on drugs, God restored me to become a man of God in that very same church. And I just love the fact that, I love the fact that God can use the house of God to make people of God. And how many of you know that we are called to be the light of the world? We're called to go out into the world and be a light and to change things on behalf of the kingdom of God. So this next song is called Glow. Somebody say, I got the glow. If you have a cell phone on you, I want you to do me a quick favor. Go ahead and put the light up on your cell phone, the flashlight on your phone, the flashlight, the flashlight, and I want you to bounce with me. Okay, we got five phones in here. Okay, okay, six, seven, eight, okay, okay, okay. I know y'all got phones now. I know you got phones. Now, the hook is simple. I got the glow. This ain't something you could buy at the store. This is something that reside in my soul. So what I mean I couldn't hide if I want, and I don't. Bro, I got the glow. This ain't something you could buy at the store. This is something that reside in my soul. So what I mean I couldn't hide if I want, and I don't. Bro, I got the glow. Run that. Play that for me. Uh, All right. Yeah. Flash lights up. Flash lights up. Hey. Hey. Now. Now. Back and forth. Back and forth. I got the glow. Okay, that was cool. Keep the lights up. Keep the lights up. Keep the lights up. Right now, that was a seven. Let's get to a ten. Run that back one more time. Let's do it one more time. Y'all make some noise for Jesus. Play glow one more time. Play glow one more time. Hey. Play glow. Glow one more time. Uh, yeah. All right, lights up. Turn me up in the headphones. Let's rock. Back I always and wanted forth. to say that. Back and yeah. forth. One, yeah. two, three, yeah. four. I got the glow. Say third wave. As I was putting together my song list for this evening, I have this song called Watch Your Mouth, and it's about the power of the tongue. How there is there is death and life in the power of the tongue. Therefore, you can bring something to life with your tongue, or you can kill something with your tongue. And then when I was on Instagram today, I seen that from this very stage, from this very pulpit, the man of God of this house preached a sermon about the power of the tongue. Is that correct? Yeah. I said, okay, so we in tune, we in tune. The hook goes like this. Watch what you say, but I'll watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I'll watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I'll watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I'll watch your mouth. Say, watch what you say. Watch what you say. Say, watch what you say. Watch what you say. Go ahead and play that for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. All right, check it out. 22 with a brand new theme. Never gave up on my team. I'm 
trying to live out what I seen in my dreams when I was 18. Yeah, RP my cousin Red G. I know you up there with the king. Family is fighting for the peace, uh huh. And I feel like I'm the one that gotta keep us up. And I'm following the Lord, man. I made my choice. Can't muzzle me, let me make my noise. Devil can't try to take everything from me, but the one thing you can't take is my voice. Success is all to claim. Please realize the same. Every time I speak it, man, I see it. Nigga, take it, take it, like I'm in it, and I mean it. Yo, found out that I got a son. All the way, speaking life, only in the stump. Nick, A, a bun of life, I'ma tell them if you want it. Yo, you can get it, you can have it, you can own it. Yo, you can get it if you try to. I'ma limit how often he is lied to. Living in a world of sin where everybody cry, wolf your tongue, and turn your best friends to rivals. Yo, I know. Every single thing I said, I want it, man, I got it. Most of them don't have it, cause if they both can't believe me, burn. A shot of the faith, you down. My faith on the mountain, get a thing go move. Gun for a tongue, get a thing go boom. Said, I'll have a house ahead, X amount of rooms. Came to my fan for our church 22. One, two, three, seven. Watch what you say, better watch your mouth. 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 Man, y'all just don't know. There's power in what you spoke. But your feet, it will grow. Thought I told y'all before, get low. Man, y'all just don't know. There's power in what you spoke. Yo, put your feet, it will grow. Yeah, one, two, three. Watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. Watch what you say, but I watch your mouth. Hey, glory to God, man. Glory to God. Hey. Y'all having a good time? I said, is y'all having a good time? I got two more songs. Is that cool? Hey. Three more? He said, all night. Hey. Go ahead and put your threes up for third way. Threes up, threes up, threes up. I love y'all. Okay. Let me see a show of hands if you have ever fell on hard times before. Like if things were not working out in your life the way you envisioned it or if bills were due and you had more bills than money. Okay, hands down. In those moments... Let me ask you one question. Did God show up for you? Has God ever failed you before? Now let me ask this next question. And we're going to be honest in here tonight. How many of you, how many of you are in hard times right now? Like you're waiting on God, you're waiting on a miracle, you need somebody to speak into your life, somebody to encourage you. I want you to look around, I want you to look around. Don't let these people leave tonight without somebody praying for them and pouring into them and speaking into their life with whatever they need. Now this next song is, is an encouragement for anybody who is going through or will go through and it's a testimony for those who have already came through. It's very simple. It goes like this. Please tap your neighbor, tell them God's going to work in your favor. Yeah, please tap your neighbor, tell them God's going to work in your favor. Yeah, please tap your neighbor, tell them God's going to work in your favor. Yeah, please tap your neighbor, tell them God's going to work in your favor. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and tap your neighbor, tell them God's going to work in their favor. Tap your neighbor, tap your neighbor. Just say God's going to work in your favor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whatever you are going through, God is going to work it out. It may seem dark right now, but God is going to come through for you. If you don't hear anything else, hear this tonight. You are on God's mind. God has not forgotten about you. There is a breakthrough prepared for you. All you got to do is step into it. Step into it. Just step into it. Hey, I feel that in my Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Go ahead and, go ahead and drop the song for me. Go ahead and play that. Turn it up for me. Can you turn it up? Can we two-step? Oh, I like that too. Say, please tap your neighbor. Tell them God's gonna work in your favor. Yeah. Please tap your neighbor.
But God took my pain and restored me. A lot of people aren't aware of my story because I don't look like my past. But God can give you everything you wanted if you just ask. Please help your neighbor and tell him God's gonna work in your favor. Yeah, please tap your neighbor. Tell him God's gonna work in your favor. Yeah, yeah, please tap your neighbor. Tell him God's gonna work in your favor. Louder! Please tap your neighbor. Tell him God's gonna work in your favor. Yeah, please tap your neighbor. I tell him God's gonna work in your favor. Yeah, yeah. Your neighbor, and tell him God's gonna work in your favor. Find somebody, please tap your neighbor. And tell him God's gonna work in your favor. Yeah, please tap your Please tap your neighbor. And tell him God's gonna work in your favor. Yeah. Alright. Two step with me. Y'all ready? Go. for Jesus. Give God a hand praise right there. Yeah. I feel I feel God in this place. I feel God here. And God is not just limited to one form of ministry. I believe God can move through hip hop. God can move through rock music. God can move through a seven year old. God can move through an 80 year old. And I believe God is moving in this place right now, even with the skinny young dude from the Bay Area. I think God has something for you all tonight. <laughs> and, and this next song is a song of warfare. It's a warfare song. A lot of people look at it like it's a hyphy song for the kids, but it's for every generation. Because I don't know about you, the devil has you on his hit list. And we have to know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. Is y'all hearing me here tonight? Come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but the devil has tried my family. He has tried my generation. He has tried me. Has the devil ever came at you before with temptation or tried to take something from me that didn't belong to him or try to come at you in your sleep, try to hit you with what they call sleep paralysis? I just want to say I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. And this is our warfare song for tonight. I want you to sing this at the top of your lungs. This is not just for the youth. This is not just for the third wave. It's for the first wave, second wave, every wave. I want you to sing this at the top of your lungs. Devil want to run up on me. Devil want to run up on me. Yo, God on my side. God is my dad. If the devil want to run up on me, it's best. Say, devil want to run up on me. Devil want to run up on me. Yo, God on my side. God is my dad. If the devil want to run up on me, it's bad. Now, when you're singing this, when you're singing this, I want you to sing it like the devil in your face. Just bang on them one time. Throw up the third wave in their face one time. Devil, oh, 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 oh. Go ahead and play that for me. I'm giving out this shirt on this song. Play it for me. Everybody, hands up. Everybody, hands up. Hands up. Turn the music up. But I'm pulling through the base location. I'm full of trying to see me live in fear, but I know what to do. The devil just a puppy and gorilla. Suit. Sorry to break it to you. If you really want a problem, no problem to take it to you. If you plotting on arriving, then I'll be waiting for you. Got the angels right beside me and positive. They can show you how it's done. Hey, got them on a run. But not up on me, I am not the one. No. Hey, show you who run this. We go the dumbest. You can't become this. Promise, I promise, he better step aside. Have a father in my comments, he better recognize. You can challenge me honestly on your head, no apology. Use my foot on your melon as my new exercise. Boy, never try to push it up on me. Don't do it unless you're ready for a long day. Like, ooh, don't get it confused. Never run up on me unless you're trying to get a view. Never wanna run up on me, it's bad. Never wanna run up on me, it's bad. God on my side, yeah, yeah. God is my dad. If the devil wanna run up on me, yeah. Run up 
on me, that's a big mistake. See you targeting my soul, but you can't penetrate. Now I caught you trying to show up at my den today. Don't get hit upside the head with a den and play. Dang. Thought I told you, thought I told you, but was really real. Thought I told you when I see you, I'ma shoot to kill. You got my partners in the matrix, cause they popping pills. Why? Drugs and women, they in dickens trying to cop a thrill. This may be over your head, but I got something for the bookie, man, it's over your bed. No more body on my hip, I got the Bible, it's dead. And I'ma shoot him in the leg with every letter that's red. Bang. Never try to push it up on me. Don't do it unless you ready for a long day. Like, ooh, don't get it confused. Never run up on me unless you tryna get a view. Never wanna run up on me, it's bad. Never wanna run up on me, it's bad. God on my side, God is my dad. If the devil wanna run up on me, it's bad. God is my dad. If the devil want to run up on me, it's bad. Say, devil want to run up on me. Devil want to run up on me. God on my side. God is my dad. If the Give God a praise right there. Go ahead and bless God right there. That's a good place to bless God. Clap it up for Jesus. Okay. Okay. I just, I, I just hear the chains falling off of somebody's life. I just hear shackles being broken off of somebody's life. Somebody's getting their joy back. Somebody's getting their strength back. Somebody is stepping into their calling right now as we speak. I feel that. Uh, can anybody else feel that? Can you just feel God doing a work in this place as we speak? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, one more. I need to make more music, apparently. He's <laughs> like, one more. But let me say this. I feel God moving in this place in a very specific way. And <laughs> they say, run that back, run that back. <laughs> I feel God moving in this place in a very specific way. Um, some people may have came in here broken or in need of something. You haven't even told anybody, but God knows exactly what you need and how you need it to be delivered unto you. And I don't know who you are, but as, as God is here, I believe he's calling some of us <laughs> to the altar. But here's the key word again. <clears throat> I believe there's some people in here that you were walking with God wholeheartedly at one point, and maybe you've backslid us a little bit. I believe God wants some people in here to rededicate their lives on tonight. I don't know who this is this is for at all. I just feel the Holy Spirit moving very strongly. Um, <laughs> I believe it is time for, for God's church to rise into the fullness of what God has called them for. Can anybody else attest to that? And, <laughs> and I believe there's also people in here who have never accepted Jesus as their personal Savior before. Tonight is your night. You thought you came to a rap concert. No, you came to an encounter. You came to an encounter. God just disguised it with a light skin boy with a microphone. It's not about me. It's about Jesus. I'm just glad to be used, but God is pulling on you right now. I don't know who you are, but either you never accepted him before or you have and you want to get rededicated, get back in the fold with him completely. And then I believe there's people in here who just need prayer. For everybody who raised their hand when I said, are you falling on hard times? I want to include you 
in this particular altar call as well. Because God can change everything around in a blink of an eye. And I believe he will. I believe prophetically this is the summer of a lifetime that we would never forget as we get in tune and in line with what God wants to do, which you guys already are. The VO is just unbelievable. You guys are on a whole different level. But let me say this. Is, is it it's okay if I, if I proceed? Um, can we get our heads bowed and eyes closed? Briefly, briefly, I just want God to move. If you have never accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, you've never invited him into your heart, but you believe tonight is your night, you believe God is calling your name and pulling on the strings of your heart, if you believe that that is you and you want to accept him into your life, on a count of three, I want you to put your hands in the air. One, nobody looking but me. Two, this is your moment. Three, hands up, hands up, hands up. Wow, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Now, if you believe this is your time to rededicate, you feel that in your heart. You want to be in tune with God again. Nobody looking but me. On the count of three, put your hands up. One, two, three, hands shooting up. Wow, wow. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody with their hands raised, can we just get you to come to the altar as Pastor Ryan and, and the leaders will come up front as well. And then those who said you were falling on hard times, if you could come, come as well. Leave your chains at the altar tonight. Leave whatever was holding you back at the altar tonight. God is moving. God is moving. Come on, play on those keys right there. Just lift your hands up and close your eyes. God brought you here on a Sunday night. And through the rap and through the music, his spirit is tugging and drawing upon your heart. Listen, the music is an instrument that God is moving inside of you and he's calling you by name and those that need to be dedicated, those that want to turn their life over to Jesus, what I want you to do is I want you to lift your hands up right there where you're at. Come on, lift them up high. And the sign of surrenderance, with your head bowed, your eyes closed, say Jesus. Come on, say it, say Jesus. I believe that you died for me. I believe that your blood was shed on my behalf. The blood that is able to wash away my past, my mistakes and failures. I come before you asking you to let that blood cleanse me from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. I believe that you died for me and that you rose on the third day. I accept you into my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. Help me to live for you, to fight for you, and to build for you. I give my life to you. I surrender it all in the name of Jesus. Come on, continue to just surrender your heart, all of yourself to him. For the next few moments, I just want you to talk to Jesus. Come on, don't, don't get distracted right now. Just talk to him. Really break past your thoughts. Break past whatever barriers that would try to make this another routine. This isn't another time where you just come to the altar. But I want you to have a moment with Jesus right there where you're at. Come on, just lock in with Jesus and talk to Jesus right now. Father, pour out your spirit, Lord. Pour out your spirit. Come on, worship person. Lead us in a worship song. Come on, just talk to Jesus.
it right there. Oh, he's working. He's working on you. He's working on you. Serving Jesus is not a one-time event. It's a lifestyle. Day by day. Night by night. Week by week. Month by month, year by year. Every morning you wake up, you have to make a choice that I'm going to serve Jesus. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. I'm going to stand out for Jesus. God has done something powerful in your life tonight. And I want to pray that everything that has taken place tonight would be sealed and every person that is here so lift up your hands. Lord, I pray, God, that everything that has been spoken here through song and music, and even in this altar, Lord, the chains that have been broken, the lives that have been transformed, I pray, oh God, let it not be just a moment and an experience, but I pray not for a word exchange, but for a life exchange. I pray that the old man, the old woman would stay at the altar and every person would leave new. I pray old habits be left at this altar. Old mentalities, old struggles, old sin, let it be left at these altar. The chains that have held them bound, let it be left at this altar. I pray they would walk out free. I pray they would walk out whole. I pray they would walk out completely transformed by your power. Seal what has taken place here tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Listen, don't clap yet. If you said that prayer, you rededicated your life to Jesus, we don't serve God alone. God has given us a family. He's given you people to lean on. And so what I want to encourage you to do, if you've accepted or rededicated your life to Jesus, I want you to find somebody, a leader in this church, and say, help me. I want to serve Jesus for the rest of my life. That's the challenge I have for you. If you've given your heart to Jesus here tonight, if you rededicated your life, I want you to, if you're a leader, lift your hand up right now. Come on, leaders, lift your hands up. I want you to look back at the leaders lifting their hand, and we're here to help you serve God for the rest of your life. So if you see someone here lifting their hand. I want you to go tell them what Jesus did in your life and we're going to serve God for the rest of our life together. Come on, give God some praise for the souls that were saved tonight. Come on church, we can do better than that. Give God some praise. Praise the Lord. How many of you had a good time at the concert tonight? Amen. Well, thank you so much for coming out to Sunday Night Live once again. Thank you for watching us online, and I pray that you're blessed and inspired today. We want to hear from you, and you can go ahead and you can email us directly. We also want to connect with you, and you can also partner with us as well. By clicking on the Give tab, you can partner with us. We're looking forward to hearing from you, and may God bless you. Hey everybody, this is Pastor Ryan here, and I have a big announcement for you here today. Are you ready for it? Listen, coming up on July 20th through July 24th, we are gonna be gathering together from all over the world. Young adults and students from all over the world are gonna be coming together for Third Wave Con. That's right, we're gonna be having a global virtual experience. We're gonna be having preachers from different parts of the world. We'll be having Pastor Sonny Argonzoni Sr., Pastor Ryan September, Pastor Tim Argonzoni, Gabriel Villa, and I will also be sharing a word as well. Not only that, but we're also gonna be having powerful worship. Our worship teams are getting together, and we're believing that God wants to do something within your life. If you're a new gen and you're in junior high, if you're a high schooler, if you're a young adult, we're gonna be having special breakouts, and not just breakouts in the morning, but also too, we're gonna be having some Zoom breakouts as well. And we're believing that God wants to do something within your life, and not just within your life, but also too within our generation. So I wanna challenge every single person here today, help get the word out. 
Let's let everybody know that coming July, God is about to rock our generation. I'm real excited for it, and I wanted to make sure that you get ready for what God wants to do at Third Wave Con. Lock your calendars in and be excited. It's going to be powerful. I'll see you there. Looking for encouragement? Then download our Victory Outreach Whittier app today. Stay connected wherever you go. To download our app, simply visit the App Store or Google Play and search for Victory Outreach Whittier. We know God's in control and this storm, this too will pass and God is in control. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. You can also visit our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll also be able to stay connected in your giving as well. With online giving, it's fast, convenient, and secure. You can give on any device and wherever you are. Giving on the go has never been easier. Remember, it's not about what we can't do, but about what we can do.